More on that story now. A short while ago, I spoke to SBS contributor Matt Davis, who's in Rangoon, and asked him how the country was coping. So that is the government's figure, 351. Um, there's talk of up to 100,000 homeless already. Um, the devastation wreaked upon Yangon was um, undescribable. Basically, uh, for eight hours, we were hit by the cyclone and uh, power is gone, water is gone. Um, basically, all um, facilities are out. Um, there's no real way to gauge the death toll thus far. Um, information is slowly coming in from a variety of sources. Um, however, as the days unfold, we're expecting it to grow dramatically. Matt, we understand there are some Australians living in Burma. Any news about them? Um, communications, as I said, have, have uh, completely dropped off, so it is difficult. I've been fortunate enough to access email today, and the Australian Embassy is trying to contact um, citizens and tourists alike. Um, they're offering assistance to anyone here, and I believe the airport has just opened up this morning again, so flights are um, operating out of the country. We understand, Matt, that there is a state of emergency in place and that international aid agencies, the United Nations included, are standing by to offer assistance. Does it seem likely to you that the generals will allow that assistance to come into the country? Well, as you're aware, it's not a country known for its um, involvement in the uh, international community. However, um, there is, it is believed that uh, due to the size of the disaster that we're facing, um, the government may be forced to call for some international assistance, um, both financial and um, on the ground here. Um, the infrastructure, like I mentioned, has been completely annihilated. Um, the United Nations, the World Food Programme and a variety of large international organisations have convened this morning and have released... Um, have offered their uh, services in an international response uh, format. However, at this point in time, it is being, the emergency uh, response is being coordinated by the government and the Myanmar branch of the National Red Cro International Red Cross. Davis, thank you. No problem. Thank you.